Hey there. So this is my light body video. I'm a couple days late. You know, I've been busy working and shit, but whatever. Uh, it's better late than never. Oh, fuck. So where to begin? So I actually made a couple little notes because I was thinking about this shit for a couple days. Like stuff I never talk about um, that I wanted to share with y'all. So first of all, like always, it's a, all about attention and tension. So attention would be your where you put your focus. It's your masculine aspect, the seat of your soul, your mind's eye. And your feminine would be your intuitive heart center, your feminine. So your receptive aspect. And the two of them work in tandem together to move energy. And basically to help you operate in this 3D realm. Um, so with light body activation, where to begin, man? So... Basically, what you do when you want to move energy or do anything with the light body is first use your attention. Put your focus or your mind's eye on an area of interest on your body or a specific energy center. It doesn't always have to be, you know, one of the chakras. There are many energy meridians and ley lines and, and nadis and energy pathways, whatever the hell you want to call them throughout your body. It's like a it's like an etheric nervous system, basically. You're just, you know what I mean? Like you start out as this high vibrating energy, this light energy, and as it manifests into matter, it's, it uh, lowers in vibration and then it literally manifests into matter. So you're like layered frequency wise, like a fucking onion. So, and you have many different dimensional layers and bodies and aspects. And so what we see with our 0.005% light spectrum through our eyes is just a fucking minuscule fraction of what's actually there. So, and I'm not going to get into all that, the holographic universe and all that crazy shit. But the, the whole point is, is that just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there and, and you can see it. You just have to act, activate another eye first. So let's start there. So say you've been smoking out and fucking scrolling on your phone for fucking you know too long or whatever you'll one thing you'll notice is you'll have pressure in your sinuses maybe even your your nasal it, your nasal passage is blocked and you and you notice your mouth breathing and shit well that's because you've kept the chi the plasma the energy in your body you've kept it up there in your mind's eye for too long so it got trapped and as a, as a physical result because the energy manifests into matter, it blocked your sinuses. So one thing you can do to unblock these sinuses with your attention and tension is put your focus there in the center of your brain. Just you don't, it doesn't have to be exact. Just imagine it's in the center of your brain where you're putting your focus on. And you can close your eyes, you don't have to, but it's it's all about imagination and visualization. So it helps better to have a black backdrop backdrop you know what I'm saying so I close my eyes when I'm most of the time when I'm focusing and imagining and visualizing stuff so focus on the center of your brain start with a pinpoint dot there and what you want to do is slowly make that dot bigger and bigger and bigger and and eventually so big that it goes outside of your your head outside of your body and essentially what this is is you're expanding your third eye chakra so if you ever get blocked sinuses or you've been scrolling too long on your phone or any of that and you feel like pressure in your head, try this. So just envision that dot slowly growing bigger and bigger and you can even match it with your exhales like it expands with your exhales. So that's that's what I'm talking about. Attention and tension. So you're putting your focus there and your intention of expanding it out your, with your heart, with your heart mind. So that's how they work. And it, the two work in tandem to move the energy. So that's just an example with the uh, third eye chakra. So, I mean, feel yourself right now. What feels the heaviest on you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to feel myself. It's my heart center. And you know what? I've had readings before and I got blockages in the heart. You know, and it's very common these days, man. With people going through so much fucking drama and stress, and especially these days, man, your heart center gets blocked off. You get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you'll just, it's just, 
whatever. We ain't going to go into all this, that shit. But um, so what I would want to do, because my heart, my chest feels heavy, is put my attention, try to envision the center of my chest, basically where my heart is. Feel into it. That's another thing I didn't mention. You with To bring in the intention aspect, you feel into it. So with that pinpoint I was talking about earlier, put that pinpoint now in your, the center of your chest and feel into it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you'll start to feel your heartbeat there because that's what happens. The attention and, and intention work in tandem to move energy out. So put your attention on that pinpoint, feel into it. You'll feel your heartbeat there because your, your light body is now sending. It's activating the energy there. They call it a standing wave. So what it does is it, act, it creates a standing wave in your auric field, your electromagnetic field, your light body, your Merkaba, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It creates a standing wave wherever you put your attention and wherever you feel in attention and tension. So then you just want to expand out that, feel into the pressure, the heaviness, and envision the pinpoint growing and expanding, growing, growing and expanding out pretty, pretty soon all the way out of your body. And what you just did there is you not only helped release that blocked energy, but you're going to feel better in all areas, mentally, physically, spiritually, physically. So, um... That's just an example. So we're talking about light body activation. That's an example of how you move energy and what moves the energy. It's the it's the dual aspects, the divine feminine and masculine. They work together and that and they uh, move energy, which is the Trinity, the spirit, the energy, spiritual energy. So, of course, to activate your light body, what you would need to do is to expand all the seven major <clears throat> energy centers or chakras. So like I said before, use the attention intention. Put your focus, your mind's eye, your perception on the area of interest. In this case, we're talking about the seven chakras. So usually you want to start with the root and work your way up. So if you want to activate your light body, expand your aura, you put your focus down there on your root and pinpoint it and then expand it out bigger and bigger. And you at least want to always go outside of your body with it. And what happens once you once you start down there with the root and you work your way to the sacral, solar, heart, center, throat, etc. up, what's happening when you're expanding these centers is you're fucking nesting them. So the the they're basically toroids spinning inside of your body. And this is what I mean when I say nesting toroids, nest your toroids is expanding them into each other. So they're all nested and uh, fuck man. That's just a simple little explanation about light body uh, activation and how to do it with the attention and tension. So let me look at these notes. There's another thing that can help you move the energy, especially your cerebral spinal fluid. So sounds. So each sound is vibrating to a resonant frequency that also stimulates energy and moves energy so like i'm literally talking right now and all these tones and vibrations and vowels and shit if you could see me with your third eye you would see my aura and as i spoke and as i felt and as you know my attention and tension working together in combination with my my um vocals you would see my aura twisting and turning and changing colors with my feelings and, and opening in certain areas and closing in other areas because of the tones of my the language I'm using. So that's that's a crazy thing to consider. So like the letter S, for example, S. Just do that. What do you feel in your body when you do that? For me, I feel my cerebral spinal fluid pathway opening up and pushing upward so I can feel it going up and a lot of yogis or whatever and just people that know what's up about the light body this is one way they'll they'll push their kundalini energy up or just release blocked energy is you know it's not a coincidence <laughs> that sex sounds that way because what is sex it's it's uh, it's energy. It's creative energy. It's it's the reason why everything is moving around and alive. 
So why do we call sex, sex energy, man? So basically S is the sound of flowing energy or, or sexual energy. So that's just one example. So, I mean, you know, you can look that shit up online too, like on YouTube, um, different ways or different sounds and, and their vibrating resonances that correspond to different energy centers. Like, you know, there's like a third eye one where you put your tongue between your teeth and it vibrates and stimulates the pineal gland. So what I'm saying is you use the attention intention and you want to go to the next level. You can use the, wor the, the words and their vibrations that also move energy. And I mean, there's just so many different things you can do to uh, activate your light body and, and move blocked energy around and, and fucking, you know, and then you add things like conscious breathing, which is also a must into it. So right there, fucking bam, you got attention and tension. You got using the words that vibrate and move energy. And then you got conscious breathing. That's a fucking, that's just going to totally activate your ass big time. So, um, I don't know what else to talk about. Ooh, 11, 11 on the fucking timer. I saw that. Oh shit. And it's five, five, five on my phone, man. Focus, bitch. <laughs> it's five, five, five on my phone for some reason. Oh, it's when I took the screenshot. Okay. Oh man. So anyway, I want to add this in as a bonus, just like a trippy ass thing that fucking happens when you start moving in the energy around in your body some symptoms. Um, so this is kind of funny. Once you start activating those energy centers and moving the energy around, you'll start to notice a couple uh, symptoms. So you'll, you, especially when you do the S and you're pushing your cerebral spinal fluid up, you'll start to hear little pops, little air bubble pops. And that's the air bubbles in your cerebral spinal fluid trapped in your blood, in your body, popping. And they're going up to the top of your head and they're popping. And you can actually fucking feel it and hear it. It's, it's pretty trippy, actually. And here's another thing, you'll, especially when you're working with your solar plexus and activating your stomach, your stomach will start bubbling up. That's because with this attention and tension, you're putting your focus there, and then the um, standing wave is happening there, and it's starting to kick up the, the, you know, the gas and, and, and basically activate the area. The, ga the trapped gas, the blocked gas in your body will start to be pushed down through your bowels and you'll start to fart. So that's just some crazy, you know, symptoms that shows you that this is how you move. You can manually alter your organs and your physical body with your mind and your heart. Okay. So that's, it's not even magic. It's just science that we don't understand really or talk about. So um, yeah, man. And then another one you'll notice when you start moving this energy and especially when you start pushing your Kundalini energy out top of your head and wrapping it around your body is that you'll feel what I, what I call the spider spider web effect where you'll feel like, you know, when you're going through the forest or just anywhere in a light spider web will graze your face, that feeling. Well, you get that feeling also when you get energy moving around. So, and, and going around different parts of your body. So that's pretty trippy too. And you know, like when you're getting horny and you're um, edging or you're going to orgasm, you know, those electrical tingly feelings you have down there. Well, when you activate your aura and move this energy all around healthily throughout your entire body, those electric tingles will now shoot all over your body in random spots. Like I'll get them to start at my fucking ankle and shoot up my back and out the, out my shoulder all of a sudden, randomly, it's like orgasmic too. And you know, I'll get him one on the back of my arm all of a sudden, you know, just anywhere on the body because this energy is no longer just trapped down there. You harnessed it with attention and tension, conscious breathing, all that shit. And you, and you evenly distributed it throughout all your chakras, nested your, ch your chakras and, and uh, ha now have your Taurus, your toroidal field, your electromagnetic field, your aura, your light body, your Merkaba it is now fluidly distributing this sexual energy, sexual energy. <laughs> so, uh, that's just, uh, let's see, 14 minutes worth of shit. Um, in a couple days or tomorrow, whenever I will ask what topic to do a video on next, I hope this helps somebody and 
I love y'all and stay up and I will see you next time. Later.